slider A is connected to slider B through a rigid uniform link AB of length L equals 500 mm as shown. Knowing that at the instant when theta equals tangent negative 1, 3 over 4, slider A has a constant velocity of 5 m per second downward. Determine at this instant the A, the angular acceleration of link AB, B, the acceleration of slider B, and C, the acceleration of the mass center G of link AB. This is the diagram. In the previous video, we have calculated the angular velocity of the link AB and the velocity at B. In this problem, we are going to find the angular acceleration of link AB and the acceleration of slider B. Here in the diagram, slider A moves downward with a velocity of 5 meter per second. Because of this translation motion of slider A, slider B will move to the right. That will create a rotational motion of link AB. It will also create a translational motion of the link AB. Point A will move downward and point B will move to the right. For this problem, we are going to use the relative acceleration method. Step 1. Locate the point whose acceleration and direction are known. According to the problem, point A moves with a constant velocity downward. So in this case, there is no acceleration at point A. AA equals to 0. Step 2. Locate the point whose direction is known. We know that point B is moving to the right. We don't know whether slider B has acceleration or deceleration. So let's assume that it has an acceleration to the right, AB. Three, divide the motion of the body as the sum of translation and rotation motions. Here we draw two link AB. One is intended for translational diagram, one is intended for rotational diagram. Step 4. Put the known acceleration on the translation motion diagram on all points of interest. We know that the acceleration at point A is 0, so there is no translation acceleration. Step 5. Put an angular velocity and an angular acceleration at the point where the acceleration is known and the corresponding components of acceleration on the other point indicate the known angle. This is the angular velocity of the rod AB obtained from the previous problem. We suppose that angular acceleration of rod AB is anticlockwise and due to this alpha, and omega, we draw the tangential acceleration at B directed to the right upward, and also the normal component of acceleration directed from B towards A. We have the angle between the link AB with the horizontal theta. This means we have also the angle between the tangential component of acceleration with the vertical line. Step 6. Write the acceleration relation. AB equals AA plus ABA. AB is the acceleration vector at point B. AA is the acceleration vector at point A. ABA is the acceleration of point B relative to point A. ABA consists of tangential component and normal component. We have acceleration of point B equal to the acceleration of point A plus the tangential component of the acceleration of point B relative to point A plus the normal component of the acceleration of point B relative to point A. The normal component of the acceleration of point B relative to A in magnitude equal to omega square RBA, where RBA is the distance from A to B. We have 
omega equal to 12.5 radian per second, which is obtained from the previous problem, we have the normal component of the acceleration of B relative to point A equals 78.125 meter per second square. The tangential component of the acceleration of B relative to A in magnitude equals alpha times RBA. The tangential component of the acceleration of point B relative to A equals to 0.5 meters times alpha. Step 7. Draw the acceleration diagram. We draw the acceleration diagram following this equation. Vector AB equals to the tangential component of vector ABA plus the normal component of vector ABA. The tangential component of vector ABA is this one. The normal component of vector ABA is this one. We connect the normal component at the tip of the tangential component. AB is a vector going to the right, this one. Having these three vectors here, we cannot obtain the acceleration triangle. To rectify this problem, let's change the direction of alpha. Here we have assumed previously that the direction of the angular acceleration is anticlockwise. Now, let's see if we assume the angular acceleration clockwise. If we have the angular acceleration clockwise, the tangential component of the acceleration of B relative to A will be directed to the left downward. The normal component of the acceleration remains the same. And now, let's combine these three vectors. We see that we can obtain this triangle. This triangle follows this relation. AB equals to ABAT plus ABAN. Now, the direction of AB has changed. It is not going to the right, but it is going to the left. It means our assumption previously is not correct. Step 8. Obtain the angular and the unknown accelerations. Let's name this angle inside the triangle is phi, beta, delta. We know that beta is 90 degrees minus theta. Delta is 90 degrees. The angle between the normal and tangential component is 90 degrees. Phi is equal to theta. Cosine theta equals ABAN over AB. We know the value of ABAN, 78.125. Knowing tangent theta equal to 3 over 4, cosine theta is 4 over 5. So from here, we can obtain the value of AB. AB is 97.66 meter per second square directed to the left. In vector form, AB equals to negative 97.66 I meter per second square. Tangent theta is AB80 over ABAN or AB80 equal to ABAN times tangent theta. Tangent theta is 3 over 4. From here, we obtain AB80, 58.59 meter per second square, directed to the left downward. From the relation AB80 equals 0 0.5 meter alpha, we can obtain alpha, 117. 0.18 radian per second square, directed clockwise.
This is the answer. Vector AB is negative 97.66i meter per second square. The tangential component of the acceleration of B relative to A is 58.59 meter per second square, directed with an angle theta from the vertical line to the left downward. The normal component of acceleration of B relative to A equals 78.125 meter per second square, directed theta from the horizontal to the left upward. The angular velocity of the rod AB equals to negative 117.18 k radian per second square, which means clockwise. We have solved question A and question B. Now, let's calculate the acceleration of mass center G of link AB. The acceleration of G equals the acceleration of A plus the acceleration of G relative to A. We know that the acceleration of point A is zero. The acceleration of point G equals to acceleration of G relative to A. And the acceleration of G relative to A equals to the tangential component plus normal component. The tangential component is alpha vector product RGA. Alpha we obtained previously negative 117.18 k radian per second square. And the vector RGA, that is the vector from A to G. Since G is the center of mass, assuming that the rod is uniform, the location of G will be in the middle of the rod AB. So in terms of length from A to G, it will be 0 0.5 meter per 2. If we want to write in the vector form, we multiply this 0 0.5 meter over 2 with cosine theta i and negative sine theta j. The cosine theta i will indicate that in the x direction from a to g is positive to the right. The negative sine theta j will indicate that the vector ag in the direction of j will be directed downward. So we have the vector RGA equals to 0.2i minus 0.15j meters. Calculating this vector product between this angular acceleration with the vector position, we have the tangential component of acceleration of G relative to A equal to negative 17.58i minus 23.44j meter per second square. The normal component is negative omega square times the vector RGA. Omega is 12.5k radian per second. The vector position RGA equals 0.2i minus 0.15j meter. The normal component of acceleration of G relative to A equals negative 31.25i plus 23.44j meter per second square. The acceleration of G relative to A equals to negative 48.83i meter per second square means the acceleration of point G is negative 48.83i meter per second square.